all my salt. Why have you left the chamber? Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Have it slept since? I wish it now to look so green and pale as what it did so freely. From this time, such I account by love, art thou feared to be the same in thine own act and valour as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemest but the ornament of life and never coward in thine own esteem? Letting I dare not wait upon, I would. Like a poor cat in the adage, what beast was then? But made you break this enterprise to me. When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more of a man. Not time, not place, to Bennett here, and yet you would make both. They have made themselves, and that their fitness now does make you. I have given suck. And know how tender it is to love a babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums. Dash the brains out, had I so sworn as you have done this. If we should fail, she calls your courage to a different place, and we'll not fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to the rather shall his day's hard journey soundly invite him, his two chamberlains will I with wine and wassail so convinced that memory, the water of a brain, shall be a fume, and will seek the reason a limb back only. When his wine is sleep, where drenched natures lie as in a death, what cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his bungee opposite, who shall bear the guilt of our great quailer?